Welcome to Momedaram. In this video, we will see arrays in Java. That is, how we can declare an array, how we can initialize an array, and how the elements of array will be stored in memory. Array is a set of values where each value is identified by an index. So, array elements can be identified by using index. The index of an array starts from 0. We can make an array of int, double, boolean or any other types. But all the values of array must be of same type. That is, we can define an array of type integer type, double type, character type, boolean type, string type and any kind of data types we can use for this. And also the values in the array should be of same data type that is homogeneous. Int of employee numbers, an array of type int, here salaries of type float, exist type long, names of type strings, declaring arrays in Java. We can declare arrays in Java using two ways that is data type followed by square bracket followed by variable name and the second way is data type followed by variable name followed by square brackets. So we can able to declare an array by using two ways. If you see here int employee numbers float salaries long x of string names. So we have defined this flower bracket after the data type and after the name also variable name and after the variable name and after the data type we have declared. So both styles of declaring array in Java are valid but uh, the style data type followed by flower bracket followed by variable name is the preferred one. So this is the preferred approach to declare an array. This approach is in other languages like C, C++. In that kind of language also we are using data type followed by variable name followed by that uh, square bracket. So in Java also we are using this type of uh, format or this is type of style. So the preferred one is data type followed by square brackets followed by variable name. Instance setting an array object. An array in Java is an object. Hence we can create by using new operator. So if you see int square bracket uh, employee numbers is equals to new int of 10. Here we are creating using new keyword. Float salaries is equals to new float of 10. In these two statements we have declared and initialized at the single line. If you see in this example long x here we are uh, declaring and we are initializing the value in the next statement. So we can able to declare uh, an array in one place and we can able to initialize that array in some other place. So if you see here in the flower brackets we have given some value. That value is nothing but size. The size is the key factor or this size has key role in the arrays. The size cannot be negative. The value of size cannot be negative. If you see in this example, int x is equal to new int of and when we are trying to compile, it is giving array dimension missing. So if we omit or if we ignore the size of an array while creating, it will give compile time error. That is array dimension missing. So when you are creating an array, we have to provide the size. Int x is equals to new int of a, character a we have given. Can we declare like this? Can we specify a size by using character instead of number? Can we do this? Yes, we can declare like this. As we know, every symbol is associated with a number. A number is nothing but code point. A small a represent ASCII value is 97 or the unique code value for this a is 97. So int x is equals to new int of character a means the size will be 97. 
if we run this program int x is equals to new int of a and when you print system dot 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 print ln of x dot length it is giving 97 here you can the character you can represent any character you can keep as a small a capital a any character you can give whatever the length the time the length will be the value the code point value or unique code value for that character will be the size of that array so it is legal to define or declare an array with the character as a size byte b is equals to 100 short s is equals to 200 so int x is equals to new int of b new int of yes short so we are we are we are providing the size as byte type and short type is it legal like can we declare like this yes we can also declare by using byte and shorts also so byte b is equals to 100 short s is equals to 200 and we are providing this byte and short as references uh, so when you print this one it is giving x dot length is 100 200 so the allowed data types to specify an array size are byte short character int so these four data types uh, we can be used to represent as a size if you add uh, any other data types it will not compile that means compile time will give error the maximum value we can able to provide for this uh, array size is the maximum value of int type that is 21474836475 up to this size we can able to define the array size if you give more than this value that means uh, 21474836478 also if you give plus 1 also it will give integer number too large error it will give even though if you specify this uh, maximum integer value also it will give out of memory error next is how are the arrays stored in the memory how the array elements are stored in the memory when we create an array object of a specified data type and length with the new operator by default all array elements in the array object are initialized with default values so if you see in this example int x is equals to new int of 10 so here we are creating an array of type integer and the size is 10 by default when you execute this statement the new object will be created with the size is 10 array index starts from 0 so it will be represented from 0 1 2 3 and so on up to 9 all the default values will be 0 the default value for int type is 0 if you define a string the time here the default values will be null if you define user defined data type or user defined class that time also by default values will be null so when you you run this statement when array object will be created and the default values will be zero we cannot insert or delete array elements after creating an array that is we cannot able to insert any element or you cannot able to delete any element this is the main drawback of arrays but only we can change the value of the elements for example if you want to change the value of this zeroth index value or if you want to change the value for second index value fifth index value fourth index value how we can able to do that by using indexes so if you want to change the value of zeroth index so x of 0 is equals to 2 x of 3 is equals to 5 we are trying to change the value from zeroth index 0 to 2 and the third index value from 0 to 5 when you run these two statements what will happen this zeroth and the third index values whatever the old default values zeros are there right thus zeros values will be replaced with whatever the values we have provided if you wants to update the value of for sixth index what we will do x of 6 if you want to update value for ninth index x of 9 is equals to whatever the value you want to provide this is how we can able to change the value of the elements if you want to 
print the second index value how we will print system dot out dot print and of x of that uh, index number two when you use uh, system dot out dot print and uh, x of two means whatever the value is uh, available in that uh, specified index that value we can able to display if you see in this example in text is equals to one two three four five six seven eight and ten the another way of uh, creating an array is by providing the array elements at the time of creation itself so the size of this array will be the length of the provided elements so if you print this one the length is 10 it is given because the elements are 10 and if you want to see the value for the 0th index what we will do system dot out dot print and of x of 0 when you run this program it is giving 1 the 0th index value is 1 and we are changing the value and we are changing the value for 0th index is 5 when you print that value it is giving 5 so by using index we can able to change the value or we can able to access the array elements by using index if you see in this example we are having array of type integer the array is x we have 10 elements so how we can able to traverse this array how we can able to iterate this array means by using for loop so for int i is equals to 0 why we are using int i equals to 0 means the array index starts from 0 so if we are trying to traverse from 0th index i less than x dot length why we are using x dot length means here how many characters are there i mean how many elements are there up to we have to iterate this loop if we iterate more than length plus one that time what will be happen array index out of bounds exception will happen that is we are trying to access the element which is not available in the array so in this for loop the condition is we have to check clearly and we are incrementing the value inside the for loop what we are doing we are displaying that uh, respected uh, element so by using for loop we can able to iterate the array elements so here we have the same example but here we are using enhanced for loop to iterate the array elements so for int i of x so int i here int i represents the value of the array elements in the first time it will be the value will be 1 in the second time the value will be 2 here the increment and the condition check and all happening internally so we are printing system dot out dot uh, print ln of i so the i is nothing but the value of the element so this is how we can able to traverse or iterate the array elements in java this is all about this video hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching